Hey guys, as a quick heads up, this is a binge compilation, which basically means it's all the videos that were dedicated to the As Seen on Tumblr playlist. So every video that I've done right now for Tumblr has been compiled into this one video. The other ones will still be there. This one is mainly designed for the people who like to binge and also do not like to be interrupted by ads. So with that said, sit back and enjoy the madness. How to ask out a girl. Approach girl? Wait, slow down. Uh, you passed her. This is a vending machine. Okay, mini donuts are good too. Say when. Sir, that was the entire block of cheese. Go get another! I can't see you anymore! I won't let you hurt me again! It was a sit-up. You did one sit-up. I show love to my friends by gently bullying them. Do you have that one OC that you're always like, Yes. You shall have every single bad thing I can think of happen to you. Was Jonah and the Whale the first war? Hey everyone, was Jonah and the Whale the first war? Was the biblical story of Jonah and the Whale the very first war? Hey guys, I think that Jonah and the Whale was the first war. Do you agree? Guys! Whoa. Why did I never realize a mustache is just a mouth bro? Well, that eyebrows are just eye stashes. What? 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 Hey, have you guys ever realized the brain named itself? Too late for this shit, oh my god. What if your belly button screamed when you covered it with a shirt because it's scared of the dark? How fucking high was I last night? Okay, ice cubes are fucking badass. I mean, they float around in their own blood. Do you ever feel bugs on you when there are no bugs? They're the ghosts of the bugs you've killed. I wish I could unread this. It's 2013. Why can't I delete friends in real life? Okay, so it turns out what I was thinking of is called murder? Do you ever go to put salt on your food and find it odd that we sprinkle tiny pieces of rock on our food because we like how it tastes? Like, how fucking weird is that, right? I just realized we don't even know what dinosaurs sound like. They could have been speaking fluent German for all we know. It's too early for this late night Tumblr shit. Guten Morgen, Herr Pterodactyl. What if trees cried because you started eating their fruit? Because their fruit is basically their babies. So every time we eat an apple or something, we're eating a tree baby. We're eating their ovaries, actually. Do you ever get the urge to get up in the middle of the night while everyone else is fast asleep and just walk places and to be completely alone and entirely dedicated to your thoughts? Yes, but the problem is I don't want to get murdered, you feel me? I feel you. We all feel you. Why are there so many people touching me? This is why you don't walk around in the middle of the night. On the bright side, I'm not addicted to crack cocaine. On the downside, I'm too poor to afford one. One crack cocaine. Hello, drug dealer. Yes, I would like to purchase one crack cocaine, please. Debit or credit? I actually have a gift card. I have decided on a new constellation. I call it the bees. If you look up at the night sky and see all those sparkly dots, congratulations, you see the bees. I have just made astrology 10,000 times easier. You're welcome. Those born under the sign of the bees have emotions, think thoughts, is likely introverted or extroverted, has at least a few friends, was born at some point. Oh my God, that's so me. What if, like, there was an exact copy of you somewhere? Except they're the other gender? Like, you guys could literally have a Freaky Friday moment and nothing would change. Imagine the best friendship that could be found there. I can literally go fuck myself. Ah, there's two types of people. KILL YOUR DOUBLE! Uh, apparently there are three. A girl with pink hair just helped me at Walmart and I was like, I know about your Tumblr. And the color just drained from her face. It was so funny, oh my fucking god. That was me, you fucking asshole! No, it wasn't. I made this up for notes. Why do you never see baby pigeons? What if all pigeons are baby pigeons and there's one master pigeon like the size of a whale? Fuck this website. So I just realized something. Plastic dinosaurs, right? Plastic is made of oil, which come from dinosaurs. Plastic dinosaurs are made of IRL dinosaurs! I... How... Did you manage to spell dinosaurs differently three times? How convenient that J.K. Rowling made Tom Marvlow Riddle equal I am Lord Voldemort when it's obviously supposed to be Mr. Tom, a dildo lover. I'm 99% sure Fred and George made this post. I'm 100% sure it was just George. If you put a picture of yourself in a locket, 
You could say you are independent. My friend was cold, so I told her to stand in the corner. Corners in 90 degrees. I had to lean back in my chair and stare out the window for several minutes because I am so done with this website. What happens to nitrogen when the sun rises? It becomes daytrogen. I'm going to bed. Good night, Jin. Sleep tight, Jin. Don't let the bed bugs bite, Jin. Where did Noah keep his bees? In the archives. Get the fuck away from me right now. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? Are you matey? What happened when the guy shoplifted the calendar? He got 12 months. Crime isn't a joke. The man entered his home and was absolutely delighted when he discovered someone had stolen every lamp in his house. Oh my god. Guys, Shakespeare wrote that all the world's a stage. His theater was called the Globe. Not only was that line philosophical and deep, but it was also a fucking pun. Also, remember that famous line from Romeo and Juliet? A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. The rival theater was called The Rose, and they had a sewage problem. Not just a beautiful line, but also a pun and Willie Shakes throwing shade. Willie Shakes. Are tectonic plates dishwasher safe? I don't know, but they're perfect for a continental breakfast. If you were dating an FBI agent and you dumped him, would he be your FedEx? I hope the NSA people scanning my blog got a chuckle out of that. Okay, so I would identify as bisexual. And that means you would have a male partner. Yep. Or a female partner. Yep. And that means you're bi. Yep. So that means if you don't find a partner, you're on standby. Did you just... I swear, people get 500 times cuter when they talk about what they're passionate about. Unless it's Hitler. Then it's only nine times cuter. I am done! What if instead of a face, I just had a bowl of freshly steamed vegetables? And so it begins. So, what does the chef recommend? Sir, this is a McDonald's. I'm sorry. What does the mix chef recommend? What if the voice inside your head is your soulmate's? Then my soulmate's a fucking asshole. I think my soulmate is a serial killer. No, I'm not. Can necromancers heal de- Depression? It just feels so dead inside. Dead inside, you say? <laughs> I know something that might just work. I want to be a reverse tooth fairy where I rob people and then scatter human teeth on their bed. A dentist? I don't know what your dentist is doing to you, but I think you need to go to the police. I haven't ate anything since 11, bruh. I'm starving. Damn, and you how old now? I forgot what BFG stood for, and I was sitting there for a good five minutes going, No, no, they wouldn't have called the kids film Big Fucking Giant, would they? Would they? Oh, hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm making French toast sticks in the oven. I'm gonna take a quick nap. Wake me up in like five minutes so I can flip them over. Randy, it's been five minutes. Flip your sticks. <laughs> Randy, your stick! Introducing the new sport, basketball two. What is the objective? Survive. The internet is for cowboys only. WWW. It stands for Wild Wild West. I was looking for apartments earlier today, and I think I found the perfect one. Where are you? Bathroom 47. If 666 is evil, then 25.8069758011127 is the root of all evil. Do you have a fucking calculator in your shower? Tries his best to widen his horizons and take on various interesting and different roles. Ah, oh, look at that Harry Potter man go. What if every spider I ever crushed thought it was just like living in my house with me the whole time and one day I just flew off the handle and murdered it? Like it just thought we were hanging out together. Has every spider died while feeling a sense of betrayal? Literally, everyone on here is on drugs. Do I, do I have to do? Yes, you do. Now read it. If the poison goes past its expiration date, does it get more toxic or less toxic? Welcome to the internet! Please follow me! Tonight on Fox News Official. What if the bumps around your nipples were actually braille and everyone had a different message like fortune cookies? Find out tonight at 11.
I bet microwaves are actually just filled with a million invisible eyes that just stare at food until it gets all embarrassed and hot. I'm a website with this done. Do bananas think about stuff? It says over 2,000 notes and I'm getting off the line. Hey, what if someone invented a machine that allowed women to transfer their pregnancies to men and then the government passed a law that if a woman didn't want to have a baby, the biological father was required to carry it? How fast do you think birth control would stop being an issue? Best night blog post ever! What if you hit your alarm clock one morning and it hits you back? That would be alarming. Imagine a horror movie while you're trapped in your house with a serial killer, but all your lights are clappers. So you're running for your life from this psychopath while both of you are just aggressively clapping the lights on and off. And of all my 3 a.m. rambling, two guys decide to make this one popular. What? I'm not sure whether I should laugh or cry. Oh my god. Imagine this thing crawling rapidly towards you in the middle of the night. Your delivery has arrived. Are you DTF? Yes, I'm DTF. Down to forgive. No, stop! You finally sneak into the dragon's cave and find the treasure chest. You open it and there is just a macaroni drawing by the dragon's son. It's treasure to me! The dragon bellows. Satan worshippers kill and eat four Russian teenagers after stabbing each of them 666 times. That sounds exhausting, I'm sorry. They killed them after they stabbed them 666 times? How does that much stabbing not kill someone all on its own? Do you think any of the moths count? 476, 477, 479, wait. Shit, Steve, I think I fucked up. Do, do I start over? What the hell is wrong with this website? Instead of doing all that work, they could have just killed three Russian teenagers and stabbed them each six times. That'd be much easier. Tumblr where we criticize Satan worshippers not for killing people, but for the unnecessary amount of effort they put into doing it! What- I What color are mirrors? Let's reflect on this. <laughs> Let's be real. In a time before the internet people didn't have more adventures and make more meaningful connections, they watched TV and listened to CDs. Before that, they listened to records and read magazines. Before that, they listened to the radio and read bad dime novels. Before that, they embroidered or some shit, I don't know. People have been staying inside and ignoring other people for as long as there have been buildings. I, I, I think we all needed this. Oh, Tumblr, you've done it again. My favorite picture on Tumblr ever. I'm laughing so hard because I thought of 22 and said 22 out loud at 4 Oh my god. <laughs> 3 d 3 44. <sighs> I realized my mistake. I saw this ad in 2005 and I'm still wondering why her head is so tiny. Why? Why is her head so tiny? No, I've got it. Those skin color things to the side are not her shoulders. They are actually a chair. Oh, my Uga King for God. Why were they vegetables? Why did they have to be vegetables? The idea for VeggieTales came in the early 90s when Phil Vischer was testing out animation software as a medium for children's videos. Due to the limitations of the software available to him at the time, he chose to avoid that technical production hurdle of creating characters with arms, legs, or hair. His first animation model was an anthropomorphic candy bar. When his wife suggested that parents might prefer a hero who promoted healthier eating habits, he began basing characters on fruits and vegetables. I have never felt this level of closure in my life. I'm so satisfied right now. Yo, VeggieTales doesn't get the love it should. To be honest, in the early days, it was five people making them out of Phil Vischer's garage in Peoria, Illinois. No one has succeeded with 3D animation yet. Toy Story was two years away. But VeggieTales did it! Pixar even called them and asked how they did the cheek puffing animation in the early days. Pixar called them. Bad props, VeggieTales. Stop everything. Sharon, hold my calls. I need to stare at this newborn hippo. How dare anything that grows up so big start so tiny? How dare it? What on earth? This is the cutest thing ever! Oh man, I'll steal one from the zoo. Oh my Jesus, I want one! <clears throat> That's a fucking guinea pig. Yes, weird hair. Like, it can't be cold or warm hair. When you touch it, it's just hair temperature. This, I swear to God. 
I just walked past two construction dudes and one of them just said, I don't think they're right-handed or left-handed. They're just dogs. So, what do you guys have planned for Valentine's Day? Murder. That's the spirit. My sister was blasting Wrecking Ball from her room, so when the chorus came in, I burst in and threw a yoga ball at her. One might say that I came in like a wrecking ball. She's still yelling at me. Dudes, sleeping is nice because you're not actually dead and you're not awake, so it's a win-win situation. It's like being dead without the commitment, an open relationship with death, death with benefits, and every night stand. All right, dude, we get it. So I can either bake these cookies at 400 degrees for 10 minutes or 4,000 degrees for one minute. Nick, no, that's not how you bake cookies, friend. Blore it. Nick, no. How about 4 million degrees for one second? Nick, you're going to burn your house down. I'm going to harness the fucking sun and make cookies. Nick, <laughs> you're either the friend or the Nick. A homeless guy just said to me, do you tell jokes to make people laugh or to make people think you're funny? And that is the most profound shit I've ever experienced. Why are you doing that? You see, I want the particles in my food to vibrate at just the right frequency. Wait, you forgot to make that one vibrate. Oh, well, well see, not with this food. This one's already vibrating at the desired frequency, but if it starts to vibrate at a higher frequency, I lock it back in the cold box. All our teeth fall out as children, and they all grow back stronger. Okay, I mean, that definitely sounds fake, but okay. We have smaller secret pants that we wear under our normal pants. Why? Imagine being a human in an alien crew in space and leaving with bright blue or pink hair and the color fades and everybody on board wonders, why are you losing your colors? Is it the lack of greens? Are you sad? Angry? They just don't know! Human biology is baffling! Uh, these are the kind of pure posts I come to this place for. I'm sorry. What? Did you just say your comfortable temperature ranges? Honestly, we can tolerate anywhere from negative 40 to 50 Celsius, but we prefer to zero the 30 range. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did you just list temperatures below freezing? Yeah, but most of us prefer to throw on scarves or jackets at those temperatures. It can be a bit nippy. Nah, mate, I knew this guy in college who refused to wear anything past his knees and elbows until it was like negative 20 at least. Huh, yeah, everybody knows someone like that. And did you also say 50 Celsius as in halfway to boiling? Ugh, yes, it sucks. We sweat everywhere and God help you if you touch a seatbelt buckle. But yes. We've got like 50 uninhabitable planets we think you might enjoy. You're telling me that you have settlements on islands with active volcanism? Well, yeah. I'm not about to tell Iceland and Hawaii how to live their lives. Actually, it's kind of a tourist attraction. What, the molten rock? Well, yeah. It's not every day you see a mountain spew out liquid rocks. The best one's in Yellowstone, though. All those hot springs and geysers from the supervolcano. You actively seek out active supervolcanoes. Shit, man, we swim in the groundwater near them. But surely you have records of volcanic activity doing tremendous damage to human settlements. Yep, Pompeii's legendary. Entire cities went, towns buried under lava, people's brains boiled in the first rush of heat. Loads more killed by falling pumice. Ah, good. They learned their lesson and didn't build there again. Well... Are you seriously telling me this volcano is legendary for killing several urban conurbations and you built on top of it again? In our defense, it actually hasn't done it since. What about earthquake-prone areas? Tell me you're at least vaguely sensible about those. Oh yeah, after the first major earthquake that flattens a city, we build them better. And you say the poles of your world would get as low as negative 100 with wind chill? Yep, with blizzards you can't see through every other day just about. Amazing! When did you manage to send drones that would survive such temperatures? Well, actually... What? We kind of... sent... people. What? We sent... No, I heard you. Did I just... What? You sent... humans... to a place 100 degrees below freezing? Y yeah and they didn't die? Well, the first few did. People died of the cold, and your solution was to send more people? That's it. 
I'm off this planet. You all are fucking crazy. I have a science headcanon. Can you just say you have a hypothesis like a normal person? So my science headcanon is... Want to see how badass I am? <laughs> Could someone take me to the hospital? Swear words are illegal now. If you say one, you'll be fined. Heck, you're on thin fucking ice. Oh no. May, I'm home. Hi, home. I'm disappointed. Hey, Peter, what's up? I'm sitting in a pool of blood. Is it your blood? Yeah, you think so. Do you know where it's coming from? Probably the stab wound? You've been stabbed? Oh, yeah, definitely. Chillax! That's not a word. Sometimes the ones who deny chillax are the ones who need to chillax the most. Narrator voice. New York, Queens. It's a rough borough, but hey, it's home. You're not supposed to say narrator voice, Peter. Guess what number I'm thinking of. 420? No, that's really immature of you. Someone else guess and please take this seriously. Is it 69? Yeah, it was 69. I don't get why we need driver's training. Driving is just like Mario Kart, except slower and you can't throw blue shells at people. All right, so you're never driving. Are you inside my ceiling, Peter? Um, no. What's the tallest buildings in your city? The library, because it has the most stories. Ugh, what a weird looking hand. It's not nice to make fun of handicapped people. Can we just take a second to realize that there are 14 year olds that weren't born in the 90s? Just fucking let that sink in. What the fuck does he want now? Hey, can I just come in for a second? That's it. That's the single greatest pun on Tumblr. What do you call a cow on grass? <laughs> So what do you call a snobbish criminal going down the stairs? I don't, I don't know, what? A condescending, condescending! Get out. So today this guy accidentally hit me with a door when he was walking out of the classroom, and instead of saying sorry, he just looked over and said, pretty cute, and walked away. And then I realized, I literally just got hit on. The pun is greater than the pain. I guess you could say that he adores you. Get the fuck out! An Englishman, a Frenchman, a Spaniard, and a German are all standing watching a street performer do some excellent juggling. The juggler notices that the four gentlemen have very poor view, so he stands up on a large wooden box and calls out. Can you all see me now? Yes, we oui. see si. Yeah. What? Oh my god, it took me about 10 minutes to finally understand this. Eyelashes, you are supposed to prevent stuff from falling in my eye, but when you fall in my eye, then what am I supposed to do? You were my last line of defense and you betrayed me! How ironic. Get off my post! You don't have to lash out. I support farming. In fact, you could call me. Wow. Wow. You're living, you occupy space, and you have mass. You know what that means? You matter. This is the most inspirational pun I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Now, I left this at the tail end, so anybody who wants to hear it, they can hear it. And if not, well, you can bye. Have a nice day, I guess. To help keep the channel up and running, I have been collaborating with a couple of artists on working on some shirts. And the first one that came out is with Trash, and actually based on this series. It's the It Came From Tumblr t-shirt. You can pick it up right now on tpublic.com. It's actually on sale for the next couple of days. But if you don't want the shirt, that's fine. We also have phone cases, stickers, and my personal favorite. Coffee mug. Every sale will not only go to help keeping the channel going with some more ideas, they will also help contribute to the artists who have been helping me make the shirts. You can also pick up the Anasha Pandisha while you're there, because that one is also kind of funny, I guess. I don't know. That being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye-bye!